So there's not a lot of things that can get me to add stuff to my quest. Typically my standard setup is a fan interface, a battery pack, and really, that's about it, unless I'm filming something specific, with like guns or something. I know you see me doing a lot of reviews on here for different products, but the reality is, I just test them out. They don't always become go-tos unless they're the aforementioned products. Many times, they only really do one thing, such as simulate the weight of a gun, or add weight, or extend the handle to a golf club, and honestly, at this point in my YouTube journey, I'm kind of over testing products. But recently, I was sent these Zyber extension handles, and I thought, wow, cool, another one of these things. <laughs> However, I wanted to talk a little bit about these more in depth, because the amount of things that this thing can do is kind of cool, and I was shocked by how well made they were and how they made Beat Saber that much more fun. So stick around because we're going to look at these be all end all handles that have a special surprise inside. Let's go. Now, first impressions with these, they're solid. They're not hollowed out, cheapo plastic things that I usually get in the mail that smell like they've been sitting in a bag of oil for three months straight. They have some girth to them, and they're well made. But what I like about these are the amount of things they can do. Not only are they handle extensions for your Beat Saber and Supernatural slashy slashy fantasies, but you can turn this bad boy into a golf club, as well as a Darth Maul style setup for you Maul Beat Saber fanboys. In fact, this was the first time I tried the Maul style, and I was shocked just how fun it was, and how it added a dimension to Beat Saber that I had never really experienced before, and now that's really all I want to do. There are even some custom maps out there for this setup, and sometimes it can get a little tricky to hit the double blocks on your regular maps. Also, these handles themselves have little weights you can add, but it's not so much that you feel like you're going to overdo it or tweak your elbow. You know how I feel about weights in VR. If you don't, check out this video right here. If anything, it just makes it feel a little more real. The golf setup was fun as well. The grip of this is really well made, and I don't feel like my controller is going to go flying into the metaverse every time I swing it. Overall, this thing is nice. Do I see myself using these all the time? Nah, but I definitely want to check out some more of this Darth Maul style Beat Saber in the future because it might be time I finally modded Beat Saber. Yes, I still am playing with the just regular Beat Saber. Just die mad, nerds. If you're interested in this product, check out the link below. Also, a lot of other YouTubers have been doing reviews on this, and I recommend checking out what they have to say as well. I'll throw their links to my faves down below, but if you have intentions of buying it, don't forget to come back to my link and click it, because that way they just shell out a little bit of extra cash to me, but your price stays the same. My name is Ari with FitPro VR, and don't forget to get your workout in today.